Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. First thing first, shout out to all my hustlers, my phone and my phone and mess. How y'all doing today, man? Let's get this money. But uh, yesterday I was shooting my third episode of Rack Snacks. Uh, if y'all ain't hip, go get hip to that. And pretty much D Rose is just bubbling all day yesterday, two days ago. And I was seeing videos that go viral just about him having a message for Lil Dirk. And the message was real sincere. He told Lil Dirk he wanted him to stay focused, figure out what worked for him, and pretty much just get to that bag. He ain't say them words um, verbatim. But you get what I'm saying. It was all with the same focal point. And pretty much um, right after that, I swear to God, like right after that, it's crazy how your phone works. You know how you might be talking to your friend about some pizza? Like, man, I want some pizza. You go to your phone, you one of the YouTube ads you're watching is a Lil Caesars commercial, Pizza Pizza. And, but on a serious note, after I watched that video about D Rose, somebody hit my DM with this picture. And I ain't see it till late night because I was working all day. And, um,. D Rose's sister pretty much came out and said he had a hundred thousand dollar bond for three years before his. That's how long he was fighting this case before he was sentenced to his forty five year sentence or fifty years. And they believe that D Money from Taekwondo World was coerced into letting out um, but to releasing a false statement against D Rose. And the fact that a hundred thousand dollars, I can't afford that shit. You know what I'm saying? If D Rose is my homie, I'll be damn my boy. Shit, let me see if I can come up with a band for you right now. Maybe a two, three. You know, depending on what the financial situation looking like. But when you got friends like Chief Keith, Lil Dirk, Lil Reese. I know Lil Reese ain't what he used to be, but he's still buying Reese money chains unless somebody buying that for him. But it's just the fact that three you, two of you motherfuckers, G Herbo, like, like, Bob Style, like, there's so many people that could have came together for D-Rose, man, especially if he innocent and got him... At least got him to fight this case from the outside, man. You know, and sometimes when you're fighting cases from the outside world, you know, I know this might sound a little cliche or stupid, but for some reason, that always seemed like a better outcome legally for you. Like, like right now, I'm fighting. If I was locked up in Cook County fighting this pipe case, I guarantee they'll give me something. Bro, I'm fighting this case from the outside. They finna dismiss my shit. Next court date, if the cops don't show, my shit is dismissed. And so it's like, damn. It's just certain things be seeming like you, you, once you in that bitch, they want you to stay in that bitch. But... It's just, I know pretty much D-Rose is not the responsibility of Lil Durk, Chief Keith, Fredo Santana, none of them people. But when you make somebody name hot, D-Rose's name is hot to the point where he could have started his own rap career. That's not enough Like if he your real top killer. And I just got to keep it real with y'all, man. If it's certain, not even morals, not even code, not the street code. If it's just certain values you have about loyalty and friendship, if this nigga, even if he ain't killed nobody for you, he would. Put get this nigga help him, little Dirk. I know you know what I'm saying they putting together the hundred K for FBG Duck Hit, but not the hundred K to keep the killer fed. And it's just like a homie, you know. Shout out my homie Tello Blick. I ain't gonna say too much, but if I need a Blick, bro, as long as I got my money, I'm good to go. And so I always had in the back of my head, it's like a special bond. Like if I come up on some bread, I I, I got bro. You know what I'm saying? I got him because whenever I call, I'm here. I could rely on him. To make sure I'm protected out here on these streets. And so it should be the same thing, especially if somebody putting in work for the name of your gang, especially for the name of your fame. You get what I'm saying? I hope T Slick right now living comfortably than a motherfucker because he just did all them years to Sosa. And it seemed like Sosa really the type of dude, and I've been trying to avoid this topic of conversation. But it seemed like he the type of dude, like once he got his money, he ain't used to having no money. He blew through all his first millions. He ran through his first $6 million. He not going to do that again. So halfway through, O-Block fucking him over and shit, you seem like a different type of Sosa. He wasn't really buying a lot of designer clothes. There was a lot of tight-ass V-necks and other shit like that in the beginning of his career. But he already, he infamously... Well, he famously known for not bonding people out. So, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Dirk, Sosa, you're bogus. Y'all can take it how y'all want to. Meet me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.